Hey guys! In this video we will cover another few objectives for the MO200 exam and namely how we can modify the page setup, adjust row height and column width and customize headers and footers. Before we start I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So let's begin with adjusting row height and column width because it is perhaps the easiest item. So, firstly, when do you want to adjust your column width so that it matches the longest text in that column, you go over here and when you see this uh, type of mouse, let's say you click two times. This type of pointer, okay? Next up, uh, on the exam, you will be likely asked to set a precise column width, so you simply click into that column area over here and right mouse click and set the column width to let's say 90. Perfect. That also goes for rows, so right mouse click, row height and let's say 20. Let's revert the change and when you want to set multiple columns to the same width, you select them, right mouse click, column width and let's use 30. And you can see that all three columns have the same width. So that is everything concerning adjusting row height and column width. Next up, modify the page setup. So we have to go to the page layout tab and here are all the relevant options. So you will use those when you need to like set exactly what will be printed on individual pages and how it will be printed. So here we can set the margins and the custom margins, the orientation, portrait and landscape, the paper size, so A4 letter and so on, the print area, so for example we can uh, set this as print area, let's set print area and when we go to, when we go print that, so you can see that it will print only our print area and here we can for example select to ignore that print area and print does everything. We can also uh, choose for example background, uh, set breaks, so for example let's set here between row 6 and 7 a page break, insert, page break. And when we print that, you can see that it will it prints only the rows until the page break is applied. Next up, we can also uh, set the print titles. So let's say that we would like to uh, we would like this row to be printed on all of the pages and this is especially useful for tables when you want to see the headers on all the pages so you set it as a print title so let's set the rows to repeat here and let's perhaps remove this print area okay let's let's also remove the breaks perfect and now when we go print that the first the first row is repeated on all of the pages perfect so that is everything concerning the page setup and now let's move on to customize headers and footers so we can set those here insert headers and footers or what I prefer to do is to 
go to the view tab and select page layout so now you can see how it will be printed and here you can add headers and footers and notice that you have a new tab and you can insert preset headers and footers and also some elements so let's insert here the page number here the uh, number of pages and here into the footer for example uh, some text enter and when we go print that everything is here so yeah guys that is all concerning those three objectives i hope you find it useful and easy if so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye